Hey, what's going on out there, folks? Rooster here in Tennessee with another video for you. Looking at a piece of equipment today, a uh, small mobile amplifier, uh, Ass Kicker 400. Uh, it's four transistors. Uh, now, as far as what's in it, I can't tell because it's got a copper strapping uh, going over the transistors on the inside. But uh, from the output of it, we can probably assume that it's uh, 1446s or maybe uh, possibly MRF uh, 455 transistors, but a uh, pretty stout little amp here. Uh, we're gonna drive it with our Galaxy 44 doing about 35 watts peak. Um, that's what we're gonna kick into this thing. And uh, this amp's in pretty good shape. It's got like a metallic uh, flake looking uh, color scheme on the cabinet. Uh, it does have a couple little brackets down here on the side if you're wanting to screw it down to something. Uh, the back of it's labeled for, you know, antenna input and, and radio input. And uh, it does have a wiring job on here that could probably be a little bit neater, but uh, I'm sure whoever was using it before just uh, wired it up with what they had and, and let it rip from there. But it works fine. Uh, the preamp does not seem to work on it. The receive light does work. All three lights on the front work. And from what I can tell, it doesn't have a sideband delay on it, but uh, uh, it doesn't seem like the preamp is functioning on here, which that's that's a that's a common thing. Um, we're going to test it on high and low. I will test it uh, on high and low on uh, peak power, and uh, we'll test it on high and low on, on average power as well. Uh, we've got a 500 watt slug in our uh, meter over here. That's a 500 watt scale. We'll start out on high on average power, so we'll be looking at the middle scale. Hello, hello, audio, audio, audio. <whistles> Whistle to about 150 average. Hello, hello, audio, 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 audio. And you know, audio in 130, 140, uh, sometimes 150. And uh, we'll go to low. Hello, 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 and a little bit less. And we'll go to peak on low. Hello, 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 hello. Audio, 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 audio. You can see we're drawing about 20 amps back there on the power supply on low and on high. Hello, 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 about 24 amps. Hello, audio, 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 400 on the dot. So uh, I think that's about it. This thing is for sale. If you're interested in it, let me know. Shoot me a text message, 423-299-3535. And for those of you that are interested in the uh, 29s that we put up here for sale, uh, the Unidens, the uh, stuff of that nature, the gump tuned radios, I'm out of them right now. So that's why I'm using my 44 as a test radio because uh, I am out of 29s. Hopefully have some coming up here soon, but uh, as of right now, I don't have any more for sale um, at the moment. But I uh, do have this amp and, and probably a few more amps that are going to be coming up and uh, try to give you a, a fair price on this thing and uh, I think it'll make somebody a good amp. Uh, mobile or base, do you fine job. 25 amp power supply running. Now I'm running my radio off that power supply too, so you figure probably about 22, 23 amps uh, will run this thing okay. All right, questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. And as always, I appreciate y'all and uh, enjoy the hobby and I uh, hope to catch you on the band. See you, bye.